Hello, let's try that again. Hi everyone. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good day. It's Friday, so it's a good day. I'm gonna do some gouache painting today. We're just gonna hang out and catch up. Yeah, it's been, it's been so long. It's, it's really, really nice to see all your names in chat. We're gonna be doing some gouache painting today. I've been testing out um, my different uh, camera views. I, I've been um, trying to set some special stuff up. So we've got, um, this is a painting I, I already have done in my sketchbook here. We're gonna do a new painting in this book. So that's the plan for today. I'm just forewarning that there may or may not be like random tech issues today because um, this is sort of a new setup for me, but I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Hoping I can learn how to um, yeah, use everything properly that I've set up over here. Project, hi. Kat the Great, great to see you. Thank you so much. Hi, unknown variable. Uh, let's just get started. So you guys can check the link Little Moo uh, typed in exclamation point ref So you should be able to see the reference picture if you click on that link. I took this um, photo Somewhat recently like maybe a week or so ago in a park um, nearby where I live and I really like The lighting and the glow on the flowers up in front of the tree so <laughs> I it's gonna be kind of like a simple one. It's not like a huge landscape scene. It's kind of more something similar to what we have here. So, hi Ephesus! <laughs> oh, that's so nice to hear, Kat! Thank you! Yeah, I think um, as far as VODs go, I, I have the plan that we'll be I'll be trying to save more of the VODs when I stream here on, on Twitch as well and um, maybe upload them to YouTube or something just because yeah, so many streams just sort of lost forever and I know not everyone can be here at the same time when I'm live, so yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. <laughs> Might be uh, so long, but just to complete- Oh, Ampy! That's you! Yeah, I, I was wondering if- Yeah, okay. I was wondering if I was forgetting a name. I don't think I remember your name change. Sorry about that. Of course I remember you, Ambi. Triple camera setup, fancy! <laughs> oh, thank you! Cows and Swift, thank you for the sub. <laughs> 74 months. Um, hi, DK! <laughs> How many years since the last Twitch stream? It's probably gotta be a couple years, right? I can't believe that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know the exact amount of time, but I think it's been a couple years. So... Okay, let's um, let's get to a new page here in the in the sketchbook. And I think I'm going to do. Let's see. We'll start with this. We'll start with this view. Um, yeah, I've been streaming on Behance. Um, I've been doing digital painting streaming there, so I haven't done um, traditional art streaming in a long time. But I've been doing, um, yeah, digital painting on Behance, and I'm still I'm still doing that. But um, so it's right now, once a week on Wednesdays at around this time. So starting at 2 p.m. CEST, I've been streaming on Behance. Um, but I'm probably gonna be like just trying new things soon. So I'm gonna try to keep that Wednesday time. Um, but as far as which platform I'm streaming on, I might be like bouncing around a bit, it might be, um, so I'm just gonna like try to put all the information in the Discord and try to make it as easy as possible. I know it's easiest when I just have like a set schedule. <laughs> so I'll do my best. Um, looking through some old work the other day from the travel streams. I learned so much from those. Same with Art Club. Ah, oh, those were good times. Good times. Oliver Andrews from Behance. Okay, unknown variable. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try to I'll try to get everyone's name straight. I'm usually pretty good at remembering names, you know, once I once I've been told or been told a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, Uncle Monkey. I did one stream indeed, but I can't really remember when it was, and it, it, it must have been over a year ago at least, but I'm not sure exactly when, as far as on Twitch. Oh wow! Kritika, that is so awesome! Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> We're gonna build a chair again. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, Foster. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't have um, sound alerts on. I don't have audio alerts. So if I'm a bit slow to noticing any things like that, um, I apologize. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sean from Behance also. Sean, I, yeah, you, you were easy to recognize. Pretty much use the same username everywhere. Yeah, that does help. Although I am guilty myself of not using the same username everywhere. So I would not judge anyone. <laughs> Cow said from the witch. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We've got the tape. Oops. Trying to do these evenly. That's the hardest part, <laughs> making the tape even. It's actually harder than it looks sometimes. Erin! Hi! <laughs> Good to see you. Yay! Gracie, hi! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's lovely to see you all. Okay. <laughs> so I've got my standard color palette here. I actually, I got some new paints recently and I've been enjoying them. It's the, um, the, the Holbein Summer set. I've been enjoying those, but I've only made one painting with them so far. And today I'm just gonna stick with my color palette that I'm very comfortable with. I feel like I need to be in the comfort zone. So that's what we're gonna do. But maybe next stream I'll show off, show off some uh, new paints to you guys. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do a sketch also for this one. Inner Glow, hi! <laughs> I hope you've all been doing well. It's been so long that I'm sure, to be honest, there's probably lots of ups and downs in between, but I hope overall that you've all been well and are doing well now. And yeah, so I'm remembering so many names. I know, me too. <laughs> it's a high school reunion. <laughs> okay, so composition i'm looking at my photo again if you're if anyone's just coming in you can type exclamation point ref ref and you can see the reference picture there's a photo i took and i'm just gonna make a little sketch i started doing this recently okay you can barely see it but i don't like to draw very dark because i prefer not to really see the sketch in my finished painting so I, it was just very light um but it does it does help it does help Oh, thank you. There you go. The links are in chat so you guys can see the picture. Um, hi, Serpent. So much detail. <laughs> Dust Reviva, hi. <laughs> nice lighting in the breath. Isn't it beautiful? That's what um, I saw that and I was like, <gasps> it's, it's glowing. It's glowing. Um, I feel like I already need my eraser. Oh no, where is it? There's no eraser. Okay, I can't make mistakes today. <laughs> okay, so recently I took um, some, you know what, maybe it's down here. I took some of my supplies on a trip recently and I forgot, I didn't completely unpack. So, <laughs> so yeah, okay, I thought this bag was downstairs, <laughs> but at least it's here, so yeah, saved. Three cheers for the thriving plant behind you. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing is crazy. It's soon gonna take over the whole studio. Oh no, pencil shavings are in my needed eraser. This is terrible. Oh, thank you, Foster. <laughs> like the vibe of this setup for you on Twitch. Wednesday is great. This feels fresh. <laughs> yeah, I um. I was also, you know, I think it's like anything, even even good things, when you when you kind of do the same thing for a while, you need to mix it up, you know, even if you enjoy something, if you do the same thing so many times, I, I've been feeling the need to uh, mix it up and, and do some traditional again. Yeah. <laughs> On team sketch before painting, um, diving in with paint seems wild. I used to um, never sketch my gouache paintings because, okay, so here's, there's pros and cons. The problem is, depending on how opaque you paint, I used to paint really, really thick all the time. 
um, depending on how opaque you paint, um, your sketch is gone instantly. Like I used to put a really thick background layer and then you, it would be like, why did I even bother sketching? It's gone, you know? And that would be really annoying. I feel like a waste of my time. But now I started painting more, um, I, I started painting more transparent. Sorry, I'm losing my words already. You just started. So I can actually see my sketch longer during the process. So it feels more helpful. So I guess it kind of depends on that kind of thing. Is that a paper mic? We can hear the sketching. You know, okay, so does it sound okay? I hope that's a good sign. I am using what I find to be a surprising mic right now. because so I've got a few different mics, you know, I've been streaming for a long time and I was struggling with the, um, What's that big one? The Blue Yeti? Because I had it here and it was literally like taking up the whole screen. Like the Blue Yeti is huge and especially when it's like in front of the camera. <laughs> anyway, um, long story short, the I had a weird idea. I was like, this camera is right in front of my face. What if I just use the internal microphone of this camera, which is the Logitech Brio, and that's what I'm using. And for some reason in my audio tests, it was like by far the best sounding microphone, even better than the than the blue yeti partly because the yeti wasn't able to be like super close to my face while i was talking um so yeah that's really strange <laughs> i never use these mics in the camera so i always feel like well there's no way that that's going to be the best option <laughs> but it is yeah no worries joby i haven't been here on twitch in a long time and yeah, but I, I, I hope to be doing some more Twitch streams. I don't know exactly what my schedule is going to look like and stuff like that. My Brio always sounded like garbage. Hathonku, hi! I think it's because I'm so close to it. Like, when do you ever... When are you ever this close to, you know, your... <laughs> your camera like that for, you know... So I think that's the reason that it sounds good. I think if I had it... Like, you know how you usually would use a webcam that distance? It might not be the same. Sounds fine, works well. Thanks, Project. It's it's definitely not fancy, you know, but it's it's nice to not have a big thing in front of me because when I um, streamed traditional in the past, that was definitely bothersome. I had a lot of a lot of tech just like in the way all the time. It felt like so. This is a bit is a bit easier on me that way. Um, hi, AFS. Welcome. Okay, so let's, um, I've got a sketch. I feel like my composition is a little bit more narrow and I, I don't have as much room for these two trees on the side. Uh, so I'm not loving that. I don't know if I should bother trying to move the tree over a little bit. Maybe I should. Would have never known it was a webcam like if you hadn't said, cool. Well, I figured I would share because you know, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's helpful. Maybe someone else is like working on their setup and can try something like this. I love the knot holes on the tree. Yeah, up here, I do. I want to make sure I include those details because otherwise the tree, you know, there's not many branches coming off of it, so it might be a little boring. So I definitely want to exaggerate the interesting things on the bark. And maybe we could add a branch, like a little broken branch. There's, there's one little piece coming off here. We could add more stuff like that. Okay, so put some paint on the palette. We also have um, a camera view where you can see the palette. So that is something that was requested in the past, but the way I had my setup last time, it was not possible. So, okay. Um, I'm gonna just put some colors here. I'm using Holbein gouache, that's my favorite. I do have a couple of Windsor Newton colors too. This is fancy. <laughs> I feel fancy. <laughs> okay, so we've got leaf green, permanent green deep. Oops. Uh, makes me want to walk in the forest when the Texas heat is over. Yes, in the autumn. And when it's all looking beautiful, then perfect, perfect time to walk in the forest. Okay, we'll get some aqua blue. Let's see, we need some browns. So I have burnt sienna. Hey Raph, 
Kathy, good to see you. I hope I'm not missing too many people in the chat. I know I already have missed stuff in the chat, especially at the beginning. So please never take it personally. <laughs> it's just, it just happens. Jimmy, oh my God. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Okay, Seal, good to see you. Oh, it's making me really happy to see everyone's names in the chat. <laughs> First a Twitch stream I've watched for longer than five minutes. And I stream here. Oh, yes. Oh man, that is like, I feel, <laughs> I feel happy. I feel accomplished. <laughs> Missed you all. I miss you too. You know, I've been, there are so many random times that I've been like, oh, I wonder how so-and-so is doing. I wonder, you know, and I'll like think about you guys. It's it's good to be here. And I'm, I'm happy. I was like, oh man, I was like, what if, you know, everyone from a couple years ago doesn't even watch Twitch anymore. Didn't stream for two, don't stream for two weeks and forget how it all works. Honestly, I was like, there's so much new stuff inside the dashboard for streamers. Like there's all these things you can, I don't know, it was overwhelming. Like all these things you can change now and there's like new emote slots and you can personalize all these things with the hype train and ads. And I don't know, there was just a million pop-ups when I lo logged in. And I was like, you know what, let's, let, let's not do that right now. Let's just do like no alerts and not worry about it. Twitch is getting wild. <laughs> There's a whole admin view. It's like, I just want to stream. I don't want to do all that. Okay, so do I have all the colors I need? Mm -hmm. I don't know, we can always add more. I, I, I think I need white. I think that's what I'm missing. Okay, and I have, it's funny when the palette is like larger than your painting, you know what I mean? I have a spray bottle, this is gonna come in handy. It's running a little low on water, but that's fine. Spray bottle, I have two jars of water over here. I've got a bunch of paint brushes and I think that's it. So lately I've been, I've been painting really differently than when I last streamed here as far as traditional workflow stuff. Let's try, hold on, let's try this view maybe. I don't know, it might be fun to see up close for this stage. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> what water do you use? Tap water, <laughs> room temperature, tap water. I'm actually curious if temperature would change anything with the painting, I, I don't know. But I just figure it makes sense to use no extreme temperatures. I say that because one time I, I filled up the um, the water and it was like I had just been washing something and I forgot and the water was really hot. And then I was um, I was like, you know what? That's weird. What if I use that water to paint? Does it do anything different? That light green. Oh, I love this color. It's like my favorite. This is um, the is this what you're talking about? The leaf green from Holbein. Oh, this is like one of the tubes I wouldn't live without this one. <laughs> Don't drink the paint water, indeed. Do not. <laughs> um, on the reference pic, the sunlight hitting the tree and everything around is just chef's kiss, isn't it? Okay, so actually what I love about this scene is that the luminosity, the glow here. So I want to, so part of what I like about painting with um, this kind of technique and starting more like watercolor at the beginning, is being able to paint glowy stuff more easily and like having a having that luminosity of the light shining through the paint hitting the paper and then bouncing back like what you get in watercolor Jenna Nader, thank you for the raid holy cow welcome everyone I hope you guys had a great stream welcome on in I have not streamed here in a while so I don't know, that's just a warning. That's just a warning that, um, I don't know, things, it's, it may be a little chaotic here because I'm trying to remember what to even do. Hi everyone, <laughs> I was not ready. How are you? How, how are you? How is your stream? I hope you're good. And um, so happy to see you stream here again. Thank you, thank you. Um, hi, Sin, hi everyone. Um, Elo of Art. 
Yeah, we're just at the beginning of this painting and the paper's wet, so I'm kind of gonna keep going here. Uh, but we're, we're starting a gouache painting and I've been starting more like watercolor style. So that's, that's kind of what I'm doing here. I have a little sketch and just putting the very first layer. It's like really transparent, maybe too transparent, but there's a nice glow effect going on in this photo. And I want to kind of capture that. So if you want to see, um, type exclamation point ref, R-E-F, and then you can see the, um, the photo that I'm painting from. Yeah, Jen, it, it, hey, thank you so much for the raid. Um, manual shout out, yay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Helen. Man, I don't have anything set up. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of like base colors. There we go, that's a more earthy color. I'm trying to think of base colors. Everything's gonna get painted on top of. So nothing that I'm painting now is gonna be, yeah, this sort of an underpainting but some areas of this might show through a little bit later. Um, so what view is more interesting here? Do you guys wanna see the palette view? Is it interesting to see the close up or not so much? You guys can let me know, we can switch back and forth. Um, I need to <laughs> remember how to do this. Let's see, we can do just the main one like this. Yeah, and then you can see the palette a little bit more. We can also, um, we can also get rid of me, <laughs> then you can see everything. So that's also useful sometimes when the palette is, yeah, something up here you need to see. Um, thank you, Kat. <laughs> Enjoy seeing the palette and the art. Okay, cool. Thank you for, um, for the feedback because I want to know. <laughs> Kat! <laughs> Hey, yeah, we're here. We're here. We're doing it. Welcome. Um, missed the anime song you used for subscribing, right? Though it was no fun that we had to stop using, um, like, I guess it was copyright and we couldn't use it and everything. I understand, but I also got used to that song. It, like, was such a vibe for the stream. Gotta make some. I've got to, like, Get some custom theme song or something. <laughs> okay, so we're just doing a soft gradient and I'm thinking about like the glow of the light and so down here I'm going with more earthy greens and then flowing up to blues because I want a little bit of atmospheric perspective. I'm going more dramatic than the reference where like the bushes and stuff that are a little further away are going to be faded out to a blue color a little bit more. Nowadays, people seem to use memes. Yeah, what's, I, see, I don't know what's going on nowadays, like what's cool on Twitch these days. You guys have to let me know. Hey, low bass guy, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm happy to be here. Already really enjoying this. <laughs> Shouts out, Rage of <laughs> such a good anime. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. That was a good one. And I haven't seen that in so long. <laughs> that song used to go through my head. It's very catchy. Okay, so yes, I'm going right now for uh, smooth transitions, no hard edges really, like painting all this whole gradient while the painting, while the um, paper is wet and just trying to get like soft gradient throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Where Elf? Hi! <laughs> Hi Mookie! Hi everyone! So down here we have some nice green, bright green grasses. Maybe I can bring this down a little bit. And we also have some shadows. But I'm kind of working a little bit with the lights first. Is the thin layer less likely to lift when, when uh, re-wet? That is true, yes. It is less likely to lift when re-wet. It's just what I've noticed. Hi, Savia. Everything's good. Gromandius, hi. It has been... It has really been a while, <laughs> but it's crazy how fast it goes. It's, it's strange. 
Like, I couldn't believe... Like, on one hand, it does feel like it's been a while, but it's also strange. Well, I have been streaming on Behance one day a week. I've been streaming on Wednesdays. Um, but I would like to do some more traditional art streaming and, you know, I missed the community here. So I do hope to be streaming on Twitch more often. I just don't know what the schedule is going to be like. Um, it might start off where I kind of switch off like between Behance and Twitch and do like every other Wednesday. Um, but ideally I'd like to add another day, but, um, I don't know exactly how it's going to go yet. There's, there's a lot of like, I'm sort of like in between projects right now. Um, and so there's a lot of like, my schedule is strange at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just gonna see like what I can do what, and, and then I'll do that. Oh, thank you. It's really good to be back. It feels very good. I was excited for stream today. I knew it was gonna be like this. Like I got really nervous right before streaming for some reason. It's like I, I, I knew it was gonna happen because it's happened to me before um, whenever I don't stream like I haven't streamed here for a while and then like you're live for like two minutes and then it feels totally <laughs> normal again. I think so too, Hazanku, I think so too. But let me show you guys um, the current, I can actually move this around. Um, so this is the current status. Doesn't look like anything really, <laughs> but I find this stage really fun because it's like anything is possible from here and it feels like yeah it's just it's just a blurry um the base layer of where the painting is going to go on top of this and hopefully we'll be able to show through um to some of these colors still by the end so that glowiness will remain <laughs> okay um let's see <laughs> so this camera that I was using to show the um, the close-up is actually the C920, which is really funny. <laughs> I didn't think it would um, be able to do so well really close-up, um, but it looks, yeah, it's doing a good job. So props to the C920 after all these years. Hey, Pavlos! Oh, thanks for casting through then. <laughs> thanks for coming to say hey. Stunt cam. <laughs> Have, do you have any windows in your space because I've I've moved my setup around a few times and right now it's like right in front of the window like my desk is at the window so my monitor is actually like blocking some of the light from the window but that is why it seems to yeah this is this is the best that I found with the lighting um, in that situation <laughs> the glowiness <laughs> about the only thing the C920 does well Hi, Mijuki! That's right! <laughs> have the C922, it's pretty much the same, yeah. Okay, so this is, layer is drying right now. Um, I actually forgot about this part of traditional streaming, and that is that um, I usually paint with a very wet background, like what I've done here, and then we have to wait for that to dry. Usually I use the um, hair dryer, so it doesn't take forever. Um, Hi, Leanna Blue. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Um, I hope you like it here. Hi, Vision. I will be streaming probably th the three hours, I'm thinking. Like, I have that sort of time slot of uh, my Wednesdays right now. So, um, probably be around a three hour stream. We've been streaming for about 30 minutes, so we've got plenty of time. Oh, I stream during nighttime. Oh, cat. See, this is a problem for me in the winter. In the winter, I I'll, I have the same thing where um, it's, yeah, I get dark early. So even though I'm in front of the window, the light is gone. And yeah, it's hard. You've got to, and, and it's surprising. Like you can buy all these lamps, but they just can't compete with the sun. <laughs> it's like, um, I do have one lamp that's the most helpful and that's a, a daylight lamp that you, um, it's the type that you actually can buy to attach to an easel. So if you can find something like that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Fishin. I missed your name in the chat. That's terrible. <laughs> well, anyway, um, hi. <laughs> Man, back to my old tricks. Second, I'm back on. <laughs> switch <laughs> um okay i'm going to 
just grab the hair dryer real quick so that I can um, dry this because it's still it's still wet and it's gonna take a while if I don't do that and that's gonna get boring. Okay, all right, be right back. Okay, we're back. I have the hair dryer, but I am going to mute uh, myself while I'm doing this because that's not very nice to listen to. So here we go. Hi everyone. First of all, Helen, thank you. Hi, Jackie. Um, you guys can notice that the painting is a little like a little bit puffed up um, as, when it gets completely dry usually it goes back to being perfectly flat which is which is nicer <laughs> but it's not quite there yet but it is almost dry um i use the dryer exclusively for art <laughs> as there's precious little hair left on my head i need to get like a, a super high powered one for this okay um well i think it's good enough anyway i think it's dry enough <laughs> and it's nice to have you all here. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie, for popping in. Um, all right, so the next next layer. This part I do um, sometimes have a little bit of apprehension starting the very next layer. So we've got to make some decisions how this is going to go. Um, right here, a little bit more blue, like it um, kind of drifted in. <laughs> to this color that I would have liked. Mm -hmm. But it's no problem. I just need to take a moment and think about it. So the next layer is not going to be perfectly opaque, but it's going to be more opaque. So we're going to use less um we're going to use less paint and a little bit All right, hold on. We're going to use a little bit <laughs> more paint <laughs> in this one. So a little bit less water. Okay, there we go. But still relatively watery. Um, Aaron says, speaking of sisters, mine wants to know if you have something between the pages when you paint in a book to keep the pages underneath from, uh, beneath from getting wet. That is a good question. Um, I do not, but I'm using a sketchbook with very nice quality thick paper, um, that's made for using watercolor in. So there's, um, <clears throat> the pages underneath don't get wet at all. If you're using a, a, a sketchbook that's intended for drawing and you try to do this, then you would probably have that issue. So as long as you had a watercolor sketchbook and the paper is like at least, um, I would say 230 grams, anytime you can get closer to 300 grams, um, that's the best. But if you have a um, decent watercolor sketchbook, it should be no problem with uh, getting wet underneath the page. Oh, good night, Uncle Monkey, or good morning, <laughs> sweet dreams. Thank you very much. All right, I'm using a round brush. Um, this is just a little smaller than the one I was using before. So I am using uh, gouache, which is basically like an opaque watercolor. It's, um, I say that description in case you're not familiar with gouache, maybe you are, but yeah, it's gouache instead of watercolors, but I'm painting with it um, with a lot of water right now, so it kind of looks like watercolor. I think I'm going to start with the, um, the shadows on the lower part of the page. So um, part of the reason I like painting a little bit more in this kind of wet style is the gradients. I love gradients. They just make everything look so much more natural when you have that soft transition between colors. And when you're painting really thick and opaque, 
I don't know, I can't really get that sort of effect as much. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I end up feeling like I just have to sort of do a lot of paint strokes close together to make my transitions. Um, whereas when you use a lot of water, you can just let the colors blend together and it just whoosh, gets super soft. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. That makes me happy. So yes, this is just sort of layer two, getting slightly more specific than what we just did. And sometimes I'll also do this while completely clean my brush. This was like a really big help once I learned this. So completely clean my brush and then take a clean brush and just put it down right at the edge here and just like swipe it across. So that way um, it can fade out that edge. Because sometimes I can't continue painting fast enough or I don't want to paint anymore. Um, but I don't want a hard edge there, so I just kind of use like a clean, um, clean water and then allow that to like fade out into the water. Hi Addison! Thank you! Thank you for the sub! What's up? Hope you, hope you guys are doing good. Cintiq looks extra realistic today! Thank you! Yes, extra, extra HD! Appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Hmm. Oh! Low base guy! Thank you for gifting subs to Moonchild Dreams, Foster Excel, MP, um, Dave Park, and Kat the Grady. Thank you so much! I appreciate that. Um, hey, there's no alerts as you guys can hear, but uh, I appreciate the support. That, that's very nice of you. <laughs> and uh, I hope everyone enjoys the, the subs who, who were gifted one. Hi, Zombie! How are you? Reels on Instagram are great, but this is so much better for senior process. Oh, that's great to hear because, you know, when it, when it comes down to it, I, I enjoy streaming and I enjoy doing things in real time. Like, I'm not, I don't absolutely love video editing, as you guys have probably heard me talk about before. I think um, editing the reels can be fun sometimes, but overall, um, for me, it just feels a lot more natural to show it like this rather than having to chop things up. Um, oh, sub, so people um, so people can subscribe. Yeah, so anyone who subscribes here, um, then they can use the emotes and things. Um, get and, and you get a little badge and stuff like that. Um, I would get into video, but I have way too many expensive and time-consuming things already. Oh, yes. Yes, that's that's definitely a thing, too. That's why I was happy for this stream setup that I was able to use um, all the webcams that I have from over the years of streaming and I didn't have to get any new crazy fancy stuff. I tried, I do have a vlogging camera that I tried to use. I have the um, Sony ZV-1 and I tried to use it for streaming because it is possible and I had such a hard time getting it set up and it's just one of those things that you've got to like every single stream, um, there's a bit of setup with it. It's just, it's just not like a webcam where you can just have it there, you know? And I was like, I can't. <laughs> Um, boopity! Video editing is very not amazing compu computer unfriendly. It's true. It's true. It can be really, really slow and glitchy if you don't have the right equipment. Uh, Liana says, is everyone that normally comes on Behance here? There are a lot of uh, people from that are usually uh, on Behance here right now. Um, not, everybody, not everybody is using the same name. But yeah, there's quite a few. I'm sure it's, it's not everyone because that's one thing about being on different platforms, unfortunately, it's, it's sometimes hard to get everyone um, to have the same news, you know, like that I was streaming today. So I, I put um, 
an alert in the... Actually, Cal says, woof, but put an alert in the Discord, but... It's hard, it's hard to get everyone the info, you know, not everybody has Discord and stuff like that. It seems like quite the collection. I know. So I have the, so right now I'm using the um, C920, the Logitech Brio, and the Elgato face cam. That's the one that you're seeing me in. That's the newest one. And the Brio I've had for years and the... <laughs> The C920 I've had for so many years. I'm like amazed it still works. Yeah, star pop over. Um, I'm just behance.net slash Maddie. Um, I'm sure there's a link somewhere on my page here. Um, So I had a contract with Behance, but there are actually a lot of things that I liked about streaming there and still like about streaming there. Um, it's just different, you know, everywhere you stream, there's gonna be like sort of pros and cons to each one. Um, it was a bit quieter, there were no alerts. It was just the platform was a sort of a portfolio site. So it's a bit more of like professional feeling to it. Whereas Twitch is like, sort of fun and chill and Behance was more of like, felt more professional for specifically for artists. Um, it wasn't so much like a site for everything and art was a small category. It was like for art. So that was a nice thing about it too. So yeah, there are just different things, um, but yeah. Oh, really? That's so cool. Well, thank you for the support, Star. I appreciate that. And I hope you are enjoying the brushes. Thank you, Lily. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the support. I'm just like scanning the chat. I hope I'm not missing stuff. Hope I'm not missing too much anyway. If I miss a question, you guys can always uh, post it again or something. Okay, so it's gonna get a little darker down here. And let's go with a more bold green. So I'm just gonna, when I say bold, I want somewhere between these two. Oops, it's a little too much. And I just want a little bit of a transition between those shadows and the bright green. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Oh, good question. Um, it's, it's not part of an official series, but I, I have been um, painting in this sketchbook a lot of similar feeling types of scenes. So I guess it's, it's sort of an unofficial series as naturally developed just because of the type of work that I'm doing in this sketchbook. Um, but it, it's not like a titled series or anything like that. But I've been uh, painting a lot of um, little scenes from my photos from just places near where I live, I'm going for walks and things and just taking photos of nice moments that I see like this. Fizz bite, hi. <laughs> How are you? Zombie, thank you. Long time to see here. Hope everything is going well for you. Your art was already amazing. Still getting better and staying quite the inspiration. Thank you for what you're doing. Zombie, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for being here. It's nice to see your name in the chat again. It's nice to be back. <laughs> you can give it a cool name like Happy Little Friends. <laughs> Happy little plants and bushes and and grasses and weeds and wildflowers. Yeah, so it's amazing. This whole painting so far has been pretty much like watercolor style painting. It's just uh, so different from how I was painting just like a year ago. And I wish I knew exactly what happened. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a few different ins inspirations, you know, I guess just watching other artists and just slowly testing out things, but I actually feel like painting like this is 
slightly easier. Like the build up towards the correct values is slightly easier or something. Yeah, Helen, it's so crazy because back then I felt like that was the best way. Like it really, yeah, I don't know. These things, not, I guess, naturally evolve, but it's interesting. Still use some of your techniques in my work. Really? That's very cool to hear. Hi, Anna's Art Corner. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you on Twitch. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, and all those brushes. Oh my gosh, so much work. So much work. Anybody who's ever converted a brush set from one program to another will know how much work that is and how much patience. Even from Photoshop to Procreate, you know, it's supposed to, it's supposed to auto import, basically. And I mean, it, it's a start, it's a start, but let me tell you, I, the, the most recent brush set that I created, I must have spent two weeks um, working on the Procreate version and it was very painstaking. It was worth it, but is definitely, <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of patience. And then CSB um, stop, started accepting ABR the next update. Oh my gosh, that's not right. That is so not right. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yay, but also, oh my God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Erin. Uh, Low Base Guy says Affinity Photo accepts ABR, but doesn't always translate 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's nice to have a, have a start. Like if I had to recreate all my brushes in Procreate, I probably I wouldn't do it. That's the sad thing. It's like it just wouldn't happen. At least importing the ABR is like a starting point for each one of the individual brush files, and then you can fix it from there. And some of them need a lot of fixing. There's actually a couple that I did have to start from scratch. I was like, this just is not gonna happen. But most of them can be fixed, and occasionally they actually just work perfectly. That's the best. That's very rare for me because I, I use, um, I create brushes that have a lot of textures and like the dual brush feature and stuff like that. So it's, um, the more like complicated settings you use, the less likely that it's going to perfectly import it, which is understandable. Oh, thank you, Lily, Lily Rose. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support and getting those brushes. And yeah, it makes me very happy that they're useful to you. Oh, thank you, Erin. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Overlord, what year is this? I know, right? I hope you've been well. Did anybody test Maddie's brushes in Affinity? Do they work close to intended? I don't know. So so I know that people have used them in um, Clip Studio and told me that they work for the most part. You know, there's going to be some that are glitchy, but, you know, my brush sets are relatively large, so I feel like as, as long as a good amount of them work, um, a lot of times people will find that still worthwhile. But yeah, um, I'm not sure about, about Affinity. Okay, low base guy says it's not too bad. As a side, I want to thank you for the idea of a bear dinosaur Jedi in the space prompt you gave a while back. Oh, and the puffin too was a good exercise. Okay, I remember the puffin, the bear dinosaur Jedi. What happened during that stream? <laughs> I feel like chat had something to do with that. Wow, thank you, Hazanku. Cap says, um, do you take your Photoshop brushes and convert them to traditional? Use your own hair, carve shapes out of potatoes. I think it would be fun to make a brush someday. Um, the, <laughs> the most creative I've ever gotten with that is I've, I've cut um, some brushes before. I don't even know if I have them anymore, but so for example, a brush like this I had and I cut you know, I basically like thinned it out. Like when you get your, if you get your hair thinned or something like, so that I could use it as a rake brush. 
but that's about it. I don't have a lot of uh, real traditional brush making experience. Fancy. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I guess we're in another this needs to dry stage. I think I can maybe work a little bit more on the center part of the tree. So I'll try that. And then we might need to go with the hair dryer again. Oh, Hazanku! Oh my gosh. Last time I saw your stream, you were blonde. Yeah, um, so I love my natural hair color grow out at some point but i think i might get highlights again soon just because it's been a while that i've had this hair now and now i'm getting a little bored but yeah this is my natural hair color and i wanted to see it because i had i had been getting highlights for like most of my life and then during the time in the past when I didn't have highlights, I decided to dye it black. Basically, I had very little experience seeing my own hair color, natural hair color. So I was like, you know, I should probably check that out. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> so I've had that for a while, <laughs> but I might, um, might get some highlights soon. <laughs> if you want, I can just uh, throw some well-worded ziggers that you're painting. I have to I'm very dry. <laughs> yes, go right ahead. <laughs> that might help. <laughs> what does my hair look like? I know. I was like, you know, this whole this whole dye a dye in your hair thing. This kind of time consuming, and expensive. Maybe I'll just try seeing what my hair looks like. <laughs> Maybe that was a good idea. But it is fun to just mix things up sometimes. Follow your work on Insta. Cool. Hey, appreciate it. So I'm trying to leave some room for that, those highlights, you know, and get a little bit of dry brushing texture right at that transition. I'm getting a warmer color. It's so glowy and nice and it's easy to go too dark. So I'm trying to be careful with that. I'm trying to keep it light. The good thing is with the gouache, we can always bring the light colors back in and I'm definitely gonna do a bit of that. Um, but I find that sometimes there's, oops. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big problem if there's a mark there, but I'll, I'll clean it anyway. Um, because it's distracting. What I was saying is, um, there's a certain look that you get from the light colors being that transparent. This is like a certain amount of glow that is hard to bring back in with um, painting the light colors on top. And I still do it, but for some places, it's nice if you don't have to. If that makes sense. <laughs> Those of you who do gouache painting, um, yeah, you, you might know what I'm talking about. So the, mid, the center part of this is gonna have the darkest shadows. Because here we're gonna have some bounce light Hey, Magafa, hi. Welcome. I really like these yellow shadows here. So probably the next, I'm thinking the next layer after this is when we're gonna start getting more opaque. We'll see. So the bounce light on the tree up here is starting to get a little bit cooler. Oops. <laughs> Not the right color. Um. 
I like this aqua blue. It's really nice for skies, but I also use it for other stuff like this bounce light. It's the Holbein aqua blue. Super convenient for like sunny day sky blue color. Okay, so every once in a while I have to spritz my paints just to keep them wet. It's really useful to um, have the OBS window open. Like I keep looking at my painting in, in OBS. I missed this. This is one thing I used to do all the time when I was traditional streaming in the past is um, OBS, you know, you get the little view, little preview of your stream and it's helpful because I'm able to see my painting at like a thumbnail view. And um, it, yeah, it's really useful to see like how the values are working and stuff and just get that thumbnail glance. Looks like a tree that's been scratched on so much it's lost most of its bark. Yeah, it could, um, yeah, I can see that. We're gonna get more texture by the end. And the tree bark texture is really cool. It's very nice for dry brushing. I think you can get a nice effect that way. I think I should switch to a smaller brush probably. My tech traditional secrets. Yeah, it's really nice. Like there were a couple times where um, when I still had my, my setup, I like turned it on just to like, get to have that preview window. You don't have a flip hotkey. I need that. That would be, if I had that, then, every, then I have everything. And maybe a black and white. I'll try to work on them, seeing if I can do that. So I can show you guys too. Look at it in black and white. Look at it flipped. Should be really useful. Flip camera and OBS. Yeah, I need I, Sean. I need to set up a like a shortcut for that, <laughs> so I so I can just press one button. Um, and then it'll do it. I'm sure that's a thing, right? Or maybe I can add another camera view and then, yeah, I use a shortcut to switch to the other scene or something on it. <laughs> so much of my old work looks so weird when flipped. I basically feel like every painting I do looks weird when it's flipped. It's sort of an exception if it doesn't, so, oof. Can you add an undo feature? Now that would be, that would be amazing. Basically, time machine. Oh, thank you, zombie. This is a Monstera. And yeah, these things are crazy. This thing's just growing, like it does not stop. It's really happy in this room, but basically every Monstera that we've had, even ones that didn't get quite as big as this, they, they're all pretty, I feel like they're pretty low maintenance. I don't know if I'm just lucky and the ones we've had have been um, good. We had one that got some kind of bugs on it and that was really sad. But for the most part, they just get really big <laughs> and seem relatively low maintenance. You know, I forgot to say, I should have mentioned, if anybody wants to paint this photo, you're very welcome to. That's part of the reason I share the reference picture, you know? It's, it's of course, so you can see what I'm doing, because I think it's useful, but you're also welcome to use it if you like. If anybody wants to make a study of it or, um, yeah, make your own painting or paint along or something. Um, I named my Monstera Loki, and it's so huge, I ended up putting it outside to climb a tree. Oh my gosh. Probably looks awesome.
traditional has everything, get eraser. Yeah, there are definitely ways, right? There are definitely ways to fix things. Not necessarily undo button, but we have our we have our traditional techniques. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Moans, you live in a good place for uh, Monstera plants to actually thrive outside. I'm pretty sure mine would not make it if I were to to put it out. It's too cold here. Don't have any plants. Um, my Oh, my other cat would knock off the desk. I did grow mushrooms in the garage though. That's cool. Oh my gosh, Ravi, did you? Did you? An all-nighter though, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to throw you a party. Ravi's been working on this epic piece for so long. I mean, it's like, it feels so good when you finish a painting you've been working on like that. Congratulations. I can't wait to see it. I don't know if you've posted it already. Um, you're welcome to share if you want, but I don't know if like you've revealed it yet or if you're ready to, but oh man, that's awesome. been caring for a lovely orchid in the last couple of years. Ooh. Yeah, orchids can be so beautiful. My mom is a big fan of them. So I'm finally starting to get to put in some detail, what I would call detail. Um, I guess this is detail up here too, but for the most part, we've been just doing gradients, a lot of gradients. Okay, I'm sorry. My neighborhood is very noisy sometimes with like people beeping and just blasting music and stuff. It's not too bad so far today, but if you hear that stuff, it happens. Yeah, of course, Helen. Yeah, go right ahead. a car horn but I imagine that it was a bit distorted or by the time my camera picked it up <laughs> I know my neighbor's dog sounds like a demon it's like it's not actually a mean dog or anything but it's just like when it plays it sounds like it's possessed All right, Helen, I'm gonna take a quick peek. Wait, hold on, I have to soften this out first. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. I'm sorry I can't show it on the screen. You guys didn't really set up to do um, like a screen capture thing, but you can check out the link Helen um, posted in the chat. The color is beautiful. <laughs> you just scroll a while to find it. Oh, so the paints that I'm using um, are Holbein. Where does it say? Yeah, Holbein Artist Squash. And uh, yeah, so this is... Um... Can I show it like here? Yeah, Holbein, there it is. So it's in tubes and it is uh, gouache paint. So it's a little bit more opaque than watercolors, but you can do, you can water it down and do a lot of the same type of painting. Okay, yeah, so I guess I can show a little up close. So this is what it looks like. There's still a lot of areas that are wet, but it's going pretty well so far. The plant didn't let me. Okay, so Sean says, uh, no hotkey in OBS, but you can copy the scene, right click on the camera, and go to transform flip horizontal. Okay, okay, and then I can make that scene, I can just go to that scene whenever I want to flip it. I wonder if I should mess with that now. I'm so, what's the word? 
I don't know if it's paranoid, but I, I never like to mess with those things, even if they seem simple. I never like to make big changes to my stream setup when I'm live because usually that's when stuff starts crashing on me. But I will set, I will specifically prepare a flip view for the next time I stream here. And if I can figure it out, I'll also set up like a black and white view. I'm sure that's probably a thing too that I can do in there. Like just take, I wonder if taking away the saturation will show an accurate values because you know how sometimes that's doesn't exactly work perfectly like that. I'll look into that stuff because I think that'll be super handy. <laughs> no, press two buttons on OBS during stream and my computer catches fire. I'm surprised this computer's behaving very well. I'm just going to, yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> um, you can line up two copies of the camera, flip one and hotkey the source, um, that source in OBS. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do. There, there are ways, there are ways. Okay, so I think I'm going to need to dry this again. I'm kind of just like waiting around at the moment. Also, you guys may have noticed um, that I didn't paint in these trees over here. I'm not sure if I should or not. I feel like it might work just as well to just have this kind of foliage re reach up over here. Um, what do you guys think? So if you look at the photo, there's two trees on the side, and I just feel like they're gonna, they're gonna feel forced or something. To me, it feels natural like this. It might ruin the atmospheric per perspective. So I'm kind of feeling to leave them out, unless anybody has another opinion that they <laughs> that they want to suggest. Yeah. The, the, black tree, the back trees are bonkers. They're straight up blue. Isn't that crazy? I noticed that a lot when we're walking in the forest here, actually. Um, that specific type of tree, the bark, really reflects the blue bounce light very strong, and it looks purple. Even in person, it looks purple. Yeah, I think that's part of the problem, Huddle Up, is that the photo, the aspect ratio of the photo is... I think a little bit wider than my, maybe because the how the tape came in too, but I feel like there's not enough room. I feel like if the composition was out to the end of the tape or something, then it would be nice to add them. Maybe just foliage. Um, Raffi says, I will reveal next week. Uh, I wasn't all right, lots of willpower, lots of coffee, kept me pushing to the finish line. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, next week, next week. Well, I'll look forward to it. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad you got through it. I hope the next one you don't have to do any all-nighters. That is really takes a toll. Um, would, it would mess with the composition to have them in there, but maybe give a blurred hint of the color. I like the color too. All right, that's an idea. Mm-hmm. Okay, so John says if you want black and white, add a color correction filter and reduce the saturation all the way down. I'm gonna do that. All right, next stream we're gonna have like, all the, we can do all these checks, like what I do in my my digital stream. That'll be cool. Outrower, hey, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Can't do all night anymore. I got too old. I I don't think I, well, it's been so long. I, I don't really know if I can, but I don't think I would like it. I have to say that. I used, I used to do that stuff and now I'm just like, luckily I also haven't encountered a lot of reasons to have to do it, you know? But anyway, this stream is fancy. Next stream will be extra fancy. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. I might have to. I'm going to try if I can remember it. If I get stuck, I will definitely message you. <laughs> hey, Average Joe. Kind of miss the no sleep superpower. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, wait, I'm just seeing a link from Jackson Joker that I missed. Oh, you flipped it. Oh, and put in black and white. Ooh, okay. How do I feel about this? I feel like, wow, the values really make it look different, don't they? I think it looks good. It, it, I think it will, I think it needs those highlights here, you know, when we paint those, the tops of the, 
the foliage and the bushes in and they get the that light layer comes back in here that'll be better thank you for that that is very useful you guys check the link from jackson joker in the chat if you want to see the the flipped and black and white view that is interesting see i, I like the misty feeling the way the colors flow into each other on the palette looks so satisfying. What, the palette always turns into a work of art. That's... I should start photographing my palette at the end. Okay, I think I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try to be brave here, and I'm gonna try this putting a tree in the background. And I'm gonna grab a test sheet of paper, because I think I might actually need to... Yeah, test out the color. So I'm gonna go with that purple. Let's see. Mm, needs more red. Something in between those two. And lighter, maybe white? Or maybe just less water? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take clean water. I hope this works. <laughs> Does the C920 use the Logitune software? Um, if so, you can make the image temporarily black and white in there. I don't think I have the Logitune, Logitune software. Why do they have so many different softwares? Because I think I have like Logicaptor or something. There's too many. Okay, so now I've wet that spot. And now I can put Something like this. Ooh. Bravery test right there. I think it's okay. I think it's gonna be okay. Hey, Jennikin! It is real! We are we are here, we're doing traditional painting, doing gouache. Feels good. <laughs> There's a Lachi something or other. Bring a new software out once a week. But why can I not save my camera settings? Does anybody- am I just- is it me? I don't know why, but every time when I open an OBS, I have to like re- I have to fix the Logitech camera. It never saves the settings. And it's always very little things, like for example, turning off autofocus or something. It's not like a lot, but why do I have to do it every time? And they have all this software. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's Logitech, it's a firmware thing. No, no, why? <laughs> Thank you, Huddle Up. All right, I think this worked. It's just vague, right? Oh, see, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did it. We found like a compromise. We didn't paint them in really, but kind of like hinted at the trees back there. I think it's good. Works great, yay. <laughs> if it didn't work, you'd have permission to shout at me. No, I would never. <laughs> it's good though, it's good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that was, you guys were a good influence. Okay. So I'm thinking what will be next. I think maybe the bottom. So um, I say this a lot. You guys know if you uh, you know see my streams a lot. I, I usually like to move around the canvas. So it's not like I don't like to finish an area and then another area is like I barely started it. You know what I mean? I like to move around and like keep things going towards the end kind of together. So right now I feel like the bottom of the canvas is falling behind. So that's what I'm gonna look at right now. And there's not like too much to do. I just feel like I need to bring down some of these browns, like break this up just a little bit. Um, so Beef Pan says, I set the camera settings in Logitech thingy um, external to OBS. So you do it separate from OBS? Um, guys, give me one second. Okay, 
thank you for waiting. <laughs> oh my gosh, average Joe. The, the sad thing is, like, <laughs> I would be so tempted though. They'd be like, really? If it actually works? Those greens look crit. <laughs> thank you. Okay, let's start with the bottom. I think the one I used is called Logitech Capture. Okay, that's what I have. But I still have to open it every time before I start streaming. Well, from what I've tested so far, it seems like I have to open it every time. It's not a big deal though, you guys. Like, it's just, it's just part of life. You just open the thing, you click a button that says, you know, Un you uncheck the um, autofocus and then you like fix the saturation or something and then that's it. Like it's really not a big problem. It's a little annoyance that you have to do every time because it doesn't seem like you should have to, but it's also not a big problem. You just have to remember to do it and you're good. Because the auto um, the autofocus is of course a big problem because you know a lot of times like the brush will come like this and then the camera will just like focus on this part. So that's a problem. With the with the traditional art streaming. Okay, so kind of making some gradients on the on the grass here. <laughs> yeah, the the, the, back, the back tip of the brush is not what we want to focus on. Oh my gosh, no. But I'm still trying to keep it very luminous here. So I don't want to... I don't want to make this too dark. I want some areas to still be really bright green. The sun hitting. And then we're going to paint over with opaque little grasses that kind of come up over the top. Maybe while I have this color here, maybe a little bit up here. There's like a little bit of a dark area down here and I feel like maybe we should add that because it's sort of a little framing, just a, a tiny bit of dirt here. I'm going to be here more often, Jenikin. I don't have like an official schedule or anything, but I, but I promise you, you're going to see me more. Um, I also, you guys, I, I also might try streaming some on YouTube. Does anybody know anything about that or have any opinions of that? Um, but I'm going to be doing traditional streaming and you will see me on Twitch, but I'm going to be, yeah, I'm just going to be trying some different things. Yeah, at the very least, I'm going to be um, doing what Foster just said. Um, I will be uploading some VODs and stuff to YouTube because Otherwise, you know, Twitch saves them, but only for so long. And I can't remember how long it is, but it's not very long, is it? So then once they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> so I might like at least put the old videos on, on YouTube. Um, but right now I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I just want to try it out. And uh, I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I wasn't sure, you know, how many people were going to be here from a couple, you know, it's been a couple of years. So I wasn't sure if I was going to recognize a lot of names or what it was going to be like so i just kind of wanted to try it out um but i may announce a schedule soon um i'm going to continue watching uh continue streaming on behance um for now but it'll be like maybe every other week um i'll let you guys know as soon as i can what the schedule might be but yeah it's just there might be some changes soon so i'm just like trying things out um but i will be at least i'll be streaming somewhere so if you follow me on um uh discord i mean if you're in the discord server i'll put I'll always put going live notifications in there 
Hey, Vile. Well, I think you probably just heard my answer because I was I was replying to Jenikin, but yeah, I mean, you'll be seeing me more. It's just not going to be necessarily like, well, you know, a few years ago when I was streaming like every day. <laughs> yeah, but I will be here. So it's 60 days for Prime, Turbo, and Partners. Okay, two months. Well, that's not bad, is it? But I still think it would be nice to save them out so that even past that time, it's, it's possible to see them. Great color blending, thank you. Oh, thanks, Vile. I really, I, I needed a, a break. Um, it felt really good to cut my hair after having long hair for so many years. It was very, very refreshing. Oh, thank you, Moons. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, okay, Lily. Yeah, see, that's what I'm worried about. Like, I know that on Behance, for example, um, they keep the VODs, like, indefinitely. Like, you can go and watch past streams from, like, 2019, I think, when I started there. So it's really nice um, that they're there for that long. So I think I'll, I'll probably do that with putting them on YouTube for that reason. Like, time zones and everything. Oh, thanks, BB. Yeah, that's true, Foster. Um, pretty good loop. I, um, so yeah, I do have some good news. Um, so I passed all my tests. Uh, I had to take a bunch of tests at the end of 2022. I did take a bunch of language tests. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know, I am living in the Netherlands. I've been here for a few years now and I was applying for citizenship. So I had to take a bunch of language tests and there was like reading, writing, speaking, like all kinds of tests and so I passed them so that's good um, they weren't at a super advanced level you know what I mean They're, they but I still felt happy that I passed them um, and yeah I've been working on it I've been um, practicing um, yeah I've, I've try to practice when I can. Again, I work I work from home, but when I when we go out and interact with people and we go shopping and do things, I try to get some practice there. So did you really, Helen? Oh my goodness. That's so cool. What do you think of it? Thanks everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am being Oh, Lily, that one is not going to be uploaded. I'm so sorry. It's a long story, but yeah, that one's, I'm going to need to edit that one and re-upload it. Basically, the, the short version of the story was I showed something on stream that I don't want to be permanently up there because there's some little personal information. Not a big deal, but I, I just need to edit that if I'm going to like permanently leave the video up. So... That's why it's gone. It's it's that one wasn't Behance's fault. <laughs> so I'll do what I can to maybe edit that and then put the video up. If I have time to do that. Hey Disintegrate, good to see you. Thanks, Loop. Um, because my uh, my hubby started a new job for a Dutch company, so I'm learning in solidarity. Oh, that, that's nice of you because it really does that kind of stuff is so hard, and I'm sure it helps to have a partner in that. Um, you guys, I've been kind of stalling here. I, I need to use the hair dryer, I think. Um, it's just taking too long to dry. So I'm gonna do that real quick so you guys won't have to wait forever. Okay, so I keep spraying this because especially when I'm using the hair dryer to dry my painting, my um, palette will get um, dried as well. And yeah, that's not nice. So I'm trying to save paint. Okay, so next. What to do next? I'm in another step where it's like feels like a big step because right now I just finished with all of the transparent layers. That was about three layers, I think. Um, and now I think we're going to finally start. I mean, the values are pretty dark here, so I, I feel like we're going to finally start with adding some opaque, like lighter colors on top of the darker areas. So I'm just mentally preparing myself and thinking about where I want to start with that. So I'm going to need to do here some lighter greens, like the top of these, like this foliage here, catching the light. 
Um, over on this side, it's more in shadow. So I think that's nice because it really makes these warm ones pop and, and stand out. So I think I'm gonna keep these warm highlights and over here, the top of the foliage, I might do in like more in cool reflecting reflections. Like still have some lights up here, but maybe like bluer something. Um, Foster says, do you find this method uses less paint overall? Yes, I think so. I think when I was painting a lot with a lot more thick paint, it was I was definitely using more paint. And what I've noticed with this is it's easier to reuse paint with this technique as well, because um, in the earlier part of this process, um, everything that I've done up till now, you can basically use old paint for it. So actually, I think my palettes are clean right now, which is yeah, usually I've got a bunch of dirty palettes. Um, but like this palette, for example, um, once this dries and these are just stuck on here and dry, um, I can re-wet them with the spray bottle another day and they'll reactivate, but it's always a little different. Once you've reactivated it, it's never like quite as nice and thick and opaque as right when it comes out of the tube. So, but you can use that reactivated paint when you're painting more transparent. So, what I'll usually do is I'll reuse paint like on another day, I'll take a palette like this that's been dried and then you can start a new painting with it and just, yeah, rewet the palette, start your painting with the transparent and then whenever you get to the point where you need to paint more opaque, then you can squeeze out some fresh paints to do that part. So you can like reuse a lot more painting like this, I think. Hey, I am confused. <laughs> this is real life. It's been a long time, but we're here. Yeah, Jennikin, it's really like out of the tube is just a different. It's, it's so nice when it's fresh. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Huddle Up says I've been using a dry gouache palette for plain air. Works great, but in the studio, I prefer mostly fresh. Yeah, it makes sense. It's still it's still nice. Like even re-wetting gouache, it's still gonna be more opaque than, you know, of course using water, uh, watercolors or something. So, um, you could press some paper into that palette and make another artwork. I know the palettes end up looking really cool. This one is somewhat um, more organized, but sometimes it gets well. We'll see what it looks like by the end. <laughs> you know. All right, so I'm trying to think about what brush I want to use. I might go with a smaller brush. So this is the one I'm working with right now. Maybe it's okay, size-wise. I like to tend to like to use slightly bigger brushes than needed because um, sometimes it, it feels like it helps the shapes to be more organic. Uh, when I use really, oh, see my paint is drying a little bit. When I use really small brushes, I feel like I'm I'm almost like drawing with the brush instead of when you use a bigger brush than what you need. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining this well. Um, but for example, for, for leaf shapes and stuff, you can just kind of make these little organic shapes where you barely push down the brush and then you push down a little bit more for some than others and you get all these different little um, shapes and sizes that feels more organic. So if I were to come and use such a small brush like this one to actually make those shapes, then um, I would end up being a little bit more like very purposeful with each one. And so if you want that kind of look and you want these like cute little leaves that look exactly like leaf shapes and you want to kind of stylize them or make them very neat and organized, then I would use a brush like a smaller brush and actually individually paint each leaf. But for this kind of look, I sort of like to use a bigger brush and just boom, 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 like that and have these like more organic versions of the leaves. So that is why I sometimes use a bigger brush. Your paper and paint seem to stay wet a lot longer than here in our climate. That can definitely be a thing. So I have been spraying my palette and everything, but the climate is really, really makes a big difference. I was watching a video um, of a Studio Ghibli artist on YouTube um, where they were, yeah, I think they mentioned something about how they traveled to LA and they were painting there and their paints were drying really fast or something. And it was just the first time that I, I really thought about that. And I was like, whoa, yeah, okay, so they went, their, their painting experience was really different in another climate. I was like, wow. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> yeah. It's just something I didn't think about before. 
Thank you, Foster. I love painting leaves. I'm procrastinating right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. I might as well just start, huh? Okay, I'm gonna start up here. So I want more yellow green at the top. You know, let me see if uh, the zoom... Oh, it's so dark. Why does it look so dark? Jennikin says, I remember James Gurney mentioned this when painting in the icy cold winter. Oh my gosh. That video will never stop being amazing. The one where he's like has a fire next to him so his paints don't freeze. <laughs> Amazing. All right, sorry, I'm just fixing this camera. Yeah, I don't think, I think that the angle is too extreme. Um, maybe could do something like this. I don't know why it's so dark. He also used vodka for the paints to keep them from freezing. That's so interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is one of my favorites favorite videos. It's definitely a memorable one. Okay, let me try one more time with this, you guys. Alright, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Just for a bit, just mix it up. We can do this view. But why is the... Did I accidentally change the wrong camera? Mikey! Oh! <laughs> Rare opportunity for two-year closure, all the 24 months. <laughs> it's been so long. Thank you. Mikey, it's so good to see you. Man, I, I changed the wrong camera view and now it's like really intense. This is, see, this is exactly why I, I shouldn't do these things. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay, nobody panic. <laughs> I made a big mistake. <laughs> okay. I think it's fine. Panics. <laughs> ah! Okay, it's okay. It's great to see you too, Mikey. Oh, it's really good to be here. It's been so fun so far. I've been, uh, yeah, how long have we been streaming? Like an hour and 40 minutes. I've been having a great time. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you guys. I'm like, I try not to change things in OBS when I'm streaming, because even if it seems like the simplest little thing, I manage to somehow press the wrong button. <laughs> okay, but crisis averted. Chris Doodles, hey all. I didn't know this was happening today, but at least I'm here for some of it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. I know, I know. I, try, I tried to get the word out, but it was, it was somewhat last minute announcement, so. Um, but anyway, there'll be more, there'll be more, so don't worry. And um, also the video will be available after stream if you or anyone wants to watch the beginning part of this. Small fire erupts, do not upset the OBS spirits. I know, right? Yeah, they like to be left alone peacefully. Do not disturb. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is, for these plants, there's a few plants coming up in front and I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna put like the stalk, the main stem of the plant in and then we can paint leaves and stuff coming off of it. Cause I feel like I'm a bit lost with like putting all these leaves and not having a plan for where they're gonna go. So I'm just looking for a certain brush. I've got a brush that's good for like these tiny little lines. I haven't been painting in a good while. Instead, I've dabbled a bit with book bindings. I have several blank sketchbooks with watercolor paper. That's so nice though, like creating your own sketchbooks. I've seen people do that and I've, I've always found it very cool. I've never done it myself, but hey, like you gotta follow your interests, right? And that's when it's fun to do. When you feel like getting back into painting, then you're gonna have your own sketchbooks ready to go. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so here is what I'm talking about, this little thin little brush here. Um, this is the Da Vinci Col Colineo. I also have some other brushes that I like for these little thin 
types of strokes um, from Rosemary & Co. Um, but I think for this in particular, this one will be good. So yeah, I should probably wait for that to dry, but I'm getting a bit impatient. All right, we're just gonna go for it. So, So there are some differences in value between what I'm doing and the photo I'm noticing. Because I'm putting, um, using a lighter green here, and in the photo they really pop because this area is darker. And in mine, I, I, I created this glow, which I like, but the glow is extending down far enough that now when I'm trying to put lighter colors in front, the value is not exactly right. I don't know if that's a problem or not. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly like the photo, as long as it looks good, but um, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more dark right down here, and then see if we can get that effect. Ugh! It's like, I like the glow. Okay, just a little bit, just a little bit, so we can put some, some highlights in front of that. Looks beautiful. Oh, thank you! Pretty nice, fun hobby once you get into, uh, once you get it right. Yeah, it seems a bit complicated. Seems a bit complicated, but the cool thing is you could probably put whatever paper you want in there, right? So you can really personalize like your favorite paper into the sketchbook. That is nice. Love how sharp the highlights on the bark are. Thank you. See, those, those sharp highlights are why I've been enjoying um, using the that technique a little bit more of a watercolor technique because I feel like that sharpness is hard to get when you paint back in the highlights versus doing it like this. Best! <laughs> Only sharing this because it's a fun number, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you for the 69 month subscription. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to grab the... I've been using this a lot more than I thought because I just added that shadow and so now I have to dry it. Otherwise, when I paint the highlight in front, it's going to just blend right in and create muddiness. <laughs> That's not nice. Okay, all right, I'm muting myself again. Hopefully, maybe this is the last time. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, it didn't take too long, so we're good. <laughs> Inner glow. Aw, thank you, Mookie. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Oh, you guys are the best. All right, I'm I'm getting ready because this. I feel like this is the focal point. We're about to work on the focal point, so I really want it to be good. We never get to listen to the best parts of the stream. I'm sure it will not sound very nice if I if I leave that unmuted. Ooh, oh my gosh, I can't. My hand is like not able to stay still. Okay, I have to move this a little bit. I have to rest my hand down. So I can, sometimes you've got to, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Why is it so hard to make a, make a line without like shaking? Just sometimes when you need to do it in this certain angles. Okay. <laughs> sometimes you gotta get paint on your sleeve. So many times, so many times. Um, are these the summer colors you got? They are not the summer colors, but I'm gonna try those in a stream soon. Um, so I thought about it and then I was like, I was actually like nervous before starting stream today. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to my comfort zone colors that I always use. Um, Cause it'd been so long. I was like, I, I need to just use like my regular palette. But I have to say, I really like the summer colors and uh, maybe at the end of stream, if I can, cause there's a painting I've done with them up here. 
um, I don't want to show it right now because I don't want to like bend this part, but um, at the end of stream, if you're, you know, you could, whoever's still here, I'll, I'll show you the painting that I did. Um, I haven't posted it yet or anything, so you get like a sneak peek, but I really like them. I really like the Holbein Summer set. <laughs> BB. <laughs> Best as a tip I like um, to use for straight lines when I shake, which is always is to draw from the shoulder and quickly. I like to think of myself as a samurai slicing a watermelon. That is a good tip. That is a good tip. Going quickly will definitely give you like a more smooth line. I can only go so quickly doing this. Otherwise, oof, it's just, I feel like I can't control, but that was a good tip. Hey, Sentient Sword. It's good to be here. Uh, hi, Forgone One. Welcome. Stabilization, go from the shoulder. That is a good tip. See, now that I've gotten started and I'm not making like the one first brush stroke, it's so much easier. It's those first brush strokes that get you. Are you painting two paintings today? Just one. I think, judging by what time it is already, that this one is going to take up all my time. because I have about an hour and 10 minutes left to stream. So I think it'll give us time to like really polish this up. I wanna, yeah, work on this area a bit more and we need details, we need details. So I'm going with more of a cool green now, mixing in a cool green lighter for over here because I wanna paint the same kind of plants um but they're in shadow but there's like cool balance light hitting them so they're still gonna have highlights and still be illuminated but it's gonna be with a different color not the yellow green and we can also have some of that going on over here in the back with those blues So I'm going to switch to a flat brush, I think. So that's another change when I started painting a little bit more transparent. Um, I started to favor round brushes a little bit more, which makes sense because they're a little better for holding water. But as I get further in the painting process and start getting into slightly more opaque stuff, sometimes then is when I'll use the flat brushes. And so I'm thinking for these flowers up here, I might use this tiny, I mean, it's a um, quarter inch flat brush. And I'm going to um, use a white, but with some yellow. I want like a creamy warm color. So I, I want it to, it's gonna be really hard to achieve the pop of the photo because I painted this. Ugh, this isn't so dark here, but we can maybe add some more shadows if we need to. Oh, it stands out pretty well. Yes, the angled flat brush. This is the Rosemary & Co. Series 310. If anyone's interested, I really love these brushes. They've been like very reliable. <laughs> Aw, best. No, of course not. You don't need expensive brushes. I mean, okay, of course there's that thing where it's nice to have good quality tools. Nobody can deny that. And that said, 
that's not everything. It's, it's mostly gonna be how you use them. And when it comes to paintbrushes, some of my favorite paintbrushes are the cheaper ones that I've bought, which is crazy, right? Like, okay, I have some brushes. So Rosemary & Co, I do feel like they're a good value. They're not cheap. Um, oh, Sid, hi, thank you. Thank you for 64 months. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here today. Um, yeah, you guys have seen me recommend these brushes a million times because I really like them. Rosemary Cole is solid. They're really good. Um, but especially where you live, the shipping can be a lot and yeah, they're not cheap to start with. Um, recently I got these brushes and they're like my new favorites, these Van Gogh brushes. Again, it depends on where you are. I know these are easy to get where I am and in some places you'd have to get these like imported or something and it just doesn't make sense anymore. But the point is, <laughs> these are, um, yeah, these are just uh, artificial, what's the word, synthetic? Synthetic hair brushes. They are not expensive where I am and they are really awesome. They have like the, you know, it's all to your preference. You just have to find to your preference. Like these have such a good snap to them. I really like the like amount of resistance and the brush tip and everything. And I, so I have these and I got a pack of these. There's like three sizes. I can't remember the price because it was like a couple years ago now, but I was like, just trying them out, they were, yeah, so I don't know, I'm getting on a tangent, uh, but my point is it's, it, you can find like products that work really, really well that are not very expensive. So I guess um, reading reviews, taking um, maybe some tips from other artists that recommend things, um, cause it's kind of hard to just buy everything yourself to try it and find the best one that doesn't really help with saving money. But <laughs> yeah, if you can, um, yeah, just you don't need to you don't need to spend money to get like the most because I'm pretty sure I could find a very expensive version of that brush. You know what I mean? But I just wouldn't need it. Um, is the series 310 for watercolor or acrylics? Uh, I can't remember what they've said on their website. I know when I was shopping, I was probably looking for watercolor brushes because that's what I'm using with them using them for but I actually I'm not sure because I will definitely use something that's not you know if I like it I'll use it. it doesn't matter if it's for that or not so I'm not sure you'd have to just go to their website real quick and see but it, I can tell you that it works well for watercolor and wash that's what I use it for I'm not sure if that's officially what it's for um Okay, I missed a bunch of stuff in the chat. So let's see. Loop says starting the foreground is probably as nerve wracking as starting on the first page of a sketchbook or that block of arches, hot pressed, <laughs> still in its wrapping. I've got one of those. I've got one of those. Uh, Mikey says, do you ever struggle with not getting ahead of yourself in the brush layer opaque process? Like you know exactly what crisp leaf shapes you want, but just have to hold that thought for 30 minutes. Yes, oh my gosh. I've gotten better with it, I guess, because I've sort of gotten burned so many times, you know, where I, I got impatient and then later, and then it like creates more work later. So now I feel like luckily I don't have that problem as much. I'm more like, I'm happy to wait. Like, in fact, sometimes I think I wait too long because <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I don't know, like, is it really time? Is it really time? And then finally getting into the finishing touches and the, the opaque um, parts of things. But yeah, that was definitely a problem for me. I just like, yeah, had to make that mistake a lot before I got better at it. Zachyman, hello! I know, right? <laughs> We're here. Um, We're lucky in watercolor gouache, you can do a lot with student grade supplies, especially with brushes I feel like I feel like gouache is pretty low maintenance when it comes to brushes honestly I think there are other mediums that require like really require higher quality brushes or something I feel like gouache you can use some you can use yeah you can use really inexpensive brushes that said the actual gouache can be an issue if you use very cheap gouache paint it's much harder to work with so that's where it can be a little expensive but brushes are not always the problem. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Sid. I'm happy with it so far too. I'm like, that makes me kind of nervous to be honest. You know, when you like how it's going, you're like, oh, don't mess it up. 
I feel like the shape of this flower, like I'm not super happy with, I need to make it a little longer or something. Um, Best says, real question. <laughs> Being closer to their headquarters, have you ever been on a tour of, or wanted to take a tour of Faber Castell's headquarters? I have not, but that sounds cool. You know, to be honest, I didn't even know that was a thing or think about it. If that is something you can do, like, sure, that would be fun. I'd be very curious to see how lots of different things are made, like, you know, paper, um, paints, pencils, whatever. I would, would definitely find that interesting. Um, Jennikin says, I had cheaper gouache and then got a small set of Holbein's. Difference like night and day. The Holbein's are uh, so much more vibrant. They are really vibrant and they're really opaque. I feel like that's one of the bigger problems with the um, with the the cheaper gouache paints is like, especially if you're using white or you have to like layer light color over dark color, you have to do like multiple layers of it before it finally gets the coverage. So in the end, you, you know, that's a, also a thing. It's like you're using so many layers, you're using up the paint faster, so then you have to buy more paint, so it's like, are you saving money then? Oh, it's so tricky. My eight-year-old always gets upset when I paint without him. Aww, <laughs> that's nice you guys paint together. Um, Fishin says a town up north makes paper. Not sure which type, but trust me when you smell it in the car on the highway, you no longer want to visit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right, um, I gotta clean off my brush. I have some muddy colors going on here. I want to paint these white flowers going into the shadows behind there a little bit. So I need white and green because there's a lot of green bounce light. And to me, it looks like, like the flowers look kind of green as they go into the distance. So let's see if this is the right color. And green, blue, huh. I think it's okay. Over starched hi. <laughs> hi Andy. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Uh Jennikin says I was, however, very scared to actually use the expensive whole vines. I didn't want to waste them on practice. Luckily my boyfriend got me a big pack, so no, I no longer had to be afraid of using them. Yeah. I know that feeling. I really do. Um, Savia says, speaking of Holbein, I got their lavender watercolor. It's gorgeous, semi-opaque, so a lot of fun to use. Ooh, that sounds really nice. I've always wanted to try their watercolors. So I've only ever used gouache from this brand, but I love their gouache so much. Um, I'm curious, you know, what their other products might be like. Um, I'm assuming like their watercolors would also be very good since it's such a similar, um, medium but i know they also make other stuff and pencils and things <laughs> oh it's it's like a little bit of both overstarched i'm not back to like my old schedule or anything but i am going to be back more often it's not it's not only today um i'm just sort of testing it out i don't know um like what kind of schedule i may have Right now, I'm just gonna stream randomly. Um, I might be doing something soon where I kind of do one week on Behance, one on Twitch, and then see where we go from there. So I don't have like an official schedule to tell you yet, but I'm gonna be around more. This isn't just gonna be like, I pop in and I'm gone for two more years. <laughs> but I don't know exactly what it will be. He loves painting with me. Uh, he has me put on Bob Ross to give him inspiration. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. What a good vibe. How sweet. Oh, that's it's so relaxing. Oh, thank you. Say no more. Overstarch, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the support. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy. It's so nice to see all of you because I know I've said this multiple times, um, but yeah, it's been quite a long time. I don't know how long it's been since I last streamed here. 
but I was hoping that I would see familiar names in the chat, but I wasn't sure because I just hadn't been around, you know? And uh, I have to say, like, I'm really surprised <laughs> how, um, yeah, that you guys are all here. I really appreciate it. I'm just, I, you know, I wasn't sure some people might like not even really be watching Twitch that much anymore, or just, you know? So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> I know, right? That's... IRL is calling. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Loop. It's great to see you. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs> yeah, best. Can I eat the mushroom that's on my badge? I like foraging wild mushies. It's actually like crazy to see these badges, you guys, because I, I, I made these badges like right before I stopped streaming for quite some time. So it's like I barely got to see them. I put a lot of time into them and then I barely got to see them. So it's kind of fun to see all the new badges. New old badges, you know? Thanks, Jennikin. I'm happy too. <laughs> I know, right, Boopity? <laughs> it's great. So the flowers are starting to come in, give some depth. I appreciate the time you put into them. They look very tasty. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Overstarched. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my badge is just a number, but that is a pretty awesome number, is it not? I mean, that is like a special badge right there. You, you can probably change it if you want, but I think you have a very good one. All right, I'm gonna paint a few more of these flowers and then I kind of think I, I need to go back and forth and, and paint some leaves. Like there's some big leaf shapes reaching out from the shadows. They, they look really cool. I love when you add those opaque gouache details. Thank you! It's like we're finally, I mean, it's like the finishing details are finally coming in. You know, everything up to the this point before we started doing opaque stuff, even though we spent quite a long time on it, it feels like it was all set up. It, it feels like it was just like one big elaborate underpainting for now to do these opaque painting layers that we're doing. <laughs> Best. You sound very knowledgeable about this for someone who's trying to accidentally eat poisonous mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna paint some green leaves. So for this, I think I am gonna use a smaller brush. <laughs> That's cool. I've I've never really done um I've never done foraging where I actually eat the mushrooms, but I do like to go looking for mushrooms to take pictures of because they're interesting and it's fun to like hunt for them and then you know take a bunch of photos for reference and stuff. All right, so. This is another tricky values thing, actually. I feel like looking at this now, I feel like I need to add a couple darker details before I can add... It's like not dark enough in some places for the lighter, for the mid mid-tone leaves to actually stand out. It's like a little too light still. So, okay, enough talking. Let's just paint it in. I'm gonna paint some darker, little, hopefully organic looking, blotchy kind of shadows here. And so this is, I'm painting um, a little bit of opaque and a little bit transparent. So I, I started opaque and now I'm kind of watering down and blending out some of the edges. Oh no, it's getting to be that time of day. I didn't think about this. I might have to, um, we'll see. I'm just gonna paint for as long as I can. I might have to close the, um, 
have a window in front of me, I might have to like close the shade because the light will soon start blasting <laughs> in here directly on the artwork and here and everything is like too bright. Like we're good so far, but in a, like a half an hour or something, I might have to do something about that. <laughs> It's like, wow, the sun decides to come out for the first time in like two weeks. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on in the chat. I'm just gonna keep painting. <laughs> Read the room. No. Come back later when I'm like walking in the forest. <laughs> don't be here now. <laughs> Hi, Shubin. Been so long since I've seen your stream. Welcome. I It's been a long time since I've been here. I hope you've been well. So yeah, this is really how I've been painting lately. It's, it's a lot different, but you can see there's a lot of transparent painting, even later on in the process, I'll notice I need to like change the values or something and then add a little bit of a wash like that. <laughs> Not once did Maddie have to ignore chat on Behance. I know the chat can move a little fast here. Sometimes I miss things. Um, Beth says I've been working my way through draw a box for a while. I'm finally at the chapter where I draw plants. Um, do you have any advice for drawing flowers, trees, and things? Oh my gosh, of course. Um, first of all, that's awesome to hear. Secondly, where to even start? I mean, it's such a big topic. I think use reference, have fun with them, like allow yourself to make changes. That's one of the best things about painting organic stuff is like if a leaf isn't in the exact same spot as in the reference, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Just um, focus on the important things, which is like the shape of the leaves, how they work, you know, how the branches come off of the tree, like, because different trees have different shapes and just get the basic idea, but don't necessarily obsess about every little detail. I think that's what I would suggest. Hattie! <laughs> oh, good to see you. I've been good, thanks. Hope you've been doing well, too. You guys, I'm sorry if you can hear there's like some kind of landscaping going on. It's sort of in the distance, so I'm hoping that it's not being picked up. But I do have to dry my um, painting real quick, so I'm gonna mute myself. Okay, so I hope I didn't miss too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna carry on. So this part is dry now, um, so we can start painting the leaves. Finally. Finally, camera angles are on point. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been working on behind the scenes, having some worse, having some, actually having some more scenes, you know, because that was, that was, <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I've got the stream deck. I had it before too, but I basically was doing nothing with it. Now I'm uh, trying to step up my game here. Okay, so back to the painting. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good painting day today. Like I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. You guys know how it is. It's like, it doesn't always, it doesn't always flow, but I feel like it's going well today. <laughs> you almost seem more excited about compliments on the camera work. I'm so excited, but I, I put, oh my gosh, you know, I put so much time into it and it's like, just because I tried different things. It's not like that this specific setup actually takes so much time or anything. It's just that I tried so many different versions of the setup and Finally, <laughs> finally something's working. Um, if you have a stream deck, you can totally set up the flip cam and value shift. See, that's what I need. I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna do it. Okay, that green is way too bright. Hold on. And I'm adding brown because I also want it to be a little more muted, a little more, more neutral color. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. <laughs> Getting into cinematography. This is the extent of my cinematography. Thank you, Foster. All right, so I'm gonna put some leafy 
leafy lighter colored shapes lighter leafy colored shapes um if you look at the reference you guys can type exclamation point ref ref um from here you know i'm trying not to zoom in too much but from here it's just like you get this leafiness these big leaves and they're kind of like they've got all these different shapes and some of them are drooping a bit so it's just like i just want that kind of feeling of them like reaching out kind of arching down a little bit thanks foster <laughs> Shadow! Oh my gosh! Shadowcraft, how are you? Um, I don't know if you were here just like a minute ago, but I was just talking about how I'm using the stream deck. Um, you guys, Shadowcraft actually gifted this stream deck to me from my wish list like ages ago, and I'm finally putting it to good use. I was just like showing it off. I'm trying different scenes and stuff, and it's been really fun. Um, back when you first got this for me, I... I basically like kind of wasn't ready for it, I guess. I didn't have like multiple camera views, so I couldn't really utilize it properly. But now I'm super excited um, that I have it ha have it, and was able to use it with my new streaming setup. So yeah, thank you for that. Super cool. It's nice to be back. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing you guys more often here. Uh, what do we type if we need a referee? <laughs> yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I can't help you there. I guess the mods. By the way, thank you, mods. You know, I never... Thank you so much for being here and helping out today and stuff. I... I didn't even really, like, reach out to anyone about this. So, that, so yeah, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> and thank you. Um, yeah, it just sort of... I only, I only sort of decided a couple days ago that, like, today was the day. I've been sort of thinking about doing this for a while. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, thank you, Shadow. Thank you. <laughs> Best, that would be fun. That would be fun. So I really love getting to put these light blue highlights here. So once we have these all these wet shapes, um, I can take a little bit of this blue, um, the aqua blue color, and while the these leaf shapes are still wet, I can kind of paint in a little bit um let's see if if it's possible to see this close up yeah i'm like holding my breath <laughs> does anybody ever do that do you guys ever do that when you paint realize you're like actually holding your breath during a part it's usually like you know when you've got one of those parts you're really scared about, you're like adding some really important part of the painting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Like, okay, actually, you need to breathe. <laughs> yeah, that is so strange that that happens. I guess it kind of makes sense in a way. Like, you can be more still when you're not even breathing, but yeah. <laughs> Breathe, everyone. <laughs> um, Patty, uh, Patty V. It feels like I haven't been here in a long time. Welcome back, and that is probably because I didn't stream for a long time. So thanks for coming in today. Oops, I think that was a little too light. Oops, I accidentally splashed some water over here. Ran across the notes from the last celebration here. I was wondering how you were doing. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You know, it's been a while. There's always like some ups and downs, but things are good now. Things are good. Oh yeah, Hattie, right now it is gonna be kind of just uh, pop-up streams, but I do think I will have some kind of a schedule soon. It's not going to be a lot, but what I'm thinking I'm going to end up doing is um, right now I'm streaming on Behance um, every Wednesday, and I think I'm going to start doing one Wednesday here, one Wednesday on Behance, and kind of going back and forth like that. So it might not be too much of a schedule, but like a little schedule to start with, and then I'll see if I can add time and stuff. Um, I'm in sort of a transition period with projects that I'm working on, and I have a little bit more time now, so... Um, I'm just seeing how to 
to make it all work, all the things that I want to do. Um, but I definitely want to stream traditional more. So that's like the plan right now. Thank you. Yeah, I'm super excited. I feel very good to be here. Oh, Helen, I'm glad we're back together. Yeah, I I do too. And you know, uh, from, you know, the, back in the art club days and stuff, uh, a lot of us follow each other on social media, like on Instagram and stuff. And I still like seeing what you guys are up to. And yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have people together again. All right. Well, let's see. I'm going to go back to the top down view. About to sound super old, but we met on TV. <laughs> there are people. So, yeah, there are people part of this community that I've met in all different places. Best also deviant art. <laughs> um, yeah, there. So people, yeah, we've, we've come together from all different places. People have found this stream through like Instagram, through Twitch, through other websites. It's pretty cool. Asanku says I harassed Elgato both online and in person at conventions for years to get OBS filter toggles natively on the stream deck. They finally did it about a year ago. Really? Oh my gosh, that's so cool though. Like, good, good job. <laughs> oh wow, you joined Twitch to follow me. I feel honored. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, in Geld, hello, welcome. You guys, I'm out of water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. I'll be right back. I just need to do this. I'm actually, well, that's good. God, we gotta stay hydrated here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's always the paint water. Oh, if you could see the paint water, it's not very appetizing. <laughs> Oh, Boopity, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely be streaming. Um, so here on Twitch, I'm planning to stream traditional. I mean, who knows, I might do some digital streams too, but right now, um, traditional is the plan. I really miss doing traditional streams. Light the candle, hello, how are you? It's nice to see your name in the chat. <laughs> All best. <laughs> hey, Edward Strive. We are really here. <laughs> no way, Raffi. See, that is so crazy to me. That's like some crazy fate. How does that happen? I don't know. I, I, I always think it's, it's just interesting how like the sort of chance chance meetings and things that happen. Doing well, frustrated just a bit by an assignment for my photography class, but traditional work is soothing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. But I hope, yeah, I hope you can have some relaxing vibes here to help with the frustration. Hey, fucking, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Project. I, I'm I'm happy with it. Now I have to see what I what I can do about my my I hope that next time when I stream digital my camera will be behaving better because the camera the other day was so I basically took all my good cameras to use in this setup. And then my other setup was like suffering. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Oh, thanks, Shadow. Yeah. So for anybody, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, um, on my Instagram, I do uh, like to post, just, you know, environment, landscape and environment photos that I take um, sort of in the everyday life kind of stuff, because I, I like to go for walks pretty often. So if I see some nice scenes and photograph them for my own use, I like to also um, share those. I post them on my Instagram stories and they're always free, free to use and stuff. So yeah, you can check that out if you want. I haven't been posting as much lately because I like to take sunny pictures and we've had like such gloomy, rainy weather um, lately. So there hasn't been anything interesting for me to photograph. Um, of course it's sunny right now, <laughs> but yeah, 
I do my best to share some some nice photos there and everyone, you guys are all welcome to use them if you like. Of course, they're going to be um, all portrait because of, yeah, that's just what you have to post on Instagram, I guess. It'd be kind of weird if I was posting like landscape style pictures on there. I guess I could do it, but anyway, they're always like portrait style. Yup, hello, Lean J yep, Jenna Kim, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Again, it's like, I try not to complain because I know a lot of places are having terrible heat waves and stuff like that. So realistically, it's not the worst, but you guys, you know, you know that I like the summer sunny days and like we all do, you know, but I use this time of year to like stock up on pictures, um, on photos. I take tons of photos at this time of year and then usually like I'm good to go through the winter with photo references and stuff. And so I feel like I haven't taken as many pictures this year. Um, because of the weather. Oh, thank you! Visceral Revolt. Thank you for saying so. That makes me happy. That one that stands out was where there was a road uh, with trees making a hole and a dark behind it. Yeah, yeah, that was a recent one. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. That was, um, yeah, we, we took a short trip and we went to France. Um, we went to a place called Mani and it was really cool um and we actually didn't have too great weather while we were there but the first night when we arrived it was sunny and really nice and i took a few pictures and yeah i, I will definitely paint that one i might paint it on stream um but that one is like i love it so much that photo it's one of those ones that i um Sometimes when I like a photo too much, I get in this problem where I don't want to paint it. I'm like, oh, I need to wait or something until I get better at painting. Or I, I need to wait until I have like a lot of time because I want to paint it on a large piece of paper and do a lot of detail and you know what I mean? I don't want to use it for like a little sketchbook painting or something and then I end up not painting it. So we're going to make that one a thing. Maybe I'll stream it or something, but I can't just like let it go by because of, you know, because of that, I need to actually paint it. <laughs> you do that exact same thing? Oh, you know, it's like, you just want it to be really good and then you end up not doing it. Yeah, oh, I understand best. I try to keep that in mind, you know, whenever I'm feeling like annoyed with the weather, I try to remind myself like, to appreciate the cool weather. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks, Shadow. I hope I'm not missing too much in the chat, you guys. Okay, let's see. One thing I learned is that sometimes you have to wait. We had this um, horrible spate, uh, spat of torrential weather and a tornado warning, but finally the weather was good and I got a merged HDR photo um, where even the geese cooperated. Wow, that is the next level. That's awesome. So it was worth the wait. I think we're gonna have some more summery weather, um, maybe maybe this month before before the autumn comes. I have a feeling we will get a little bit more. All right, we've got about 30 minutes left. I can't believe it, you guys. Like, I feel like, oh, I got, I feel like there's still a lot to do on the painting. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so what should we do? I'm gonna keep going with the lighter greens. I might need to see this. This is so it's already dried. So I might need to actually put some fresh paint out because I need that really opaque paint right this time. Just need some clean green lines. This is when I feel like 
five years, six years, you guys. This is when I feel like I need to paint a painting on bigger sheets of paper sometimes when I get to this stage of the painting process and I feel like I can't create thin enough lines. You know what I mean? I really want like a tiny thin little line and I can only get so small. Um, and I think it's just the, the original size of the painting needs to be bigger so that relatively um, I can get smaller details. But I, I like painting at this size too. There's pros and cons. One thing I like is just the amount of time. Like I can, you know, do a painting in uh, a few hours. Whereas if I use such a big sheet of paper and we get all that detail, it's like, okay, that's nice, but it is gonna take longer, maybe multiple days. Oh, thank you, Hazanku, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Um, do you still go digital sometimes? Still remember those shoddy tutorials from the Jurassic YouTube era? Oh my gosh, I hope they're still online, to be honest. Like, I I feel like I want to download those just for like my personal archives or something. Like, if he ever removes those, I will be so sad. Um, but yeah, I still do digital. Um, and I have, I've been streaming digital art on Behance um, just one day a week on Wednesdays. So if, and I'm probably gonna do, from now on, I might do like every other Wednesday. I'll let you guys know in the Discord and you know, um, You'll, you'll see me here, but uh, I'll be I'll be kind of splitting up between um, the platforms a little bit more in the in the future. But if you do want to see some digital art, um, you can follow me there too, and we'll be streaming uh, digital maybe every other Wednesday or something like that. I'm gonna work out how it's gonna go. <laughs> okay, Seal, almost exactly four years. Wow. Um, Aurora says, "What was the biggest canvas you ever painted on?" So the biggest artwork that I've ever done was um, a drawing rather than a painting. It, I have done a pretty big drawing, like some big ink drawings back in the day. And when I say big, I mean like, man, I don't remember the dimensions off the top of my head, but the biggest paper I have right now is 18 by 24 inches. I mean, it was much bigger than that, maybe like four times bigger than that. Like a, like a huge roll of paper is what I used, not um, a sheet. <laughs> um, but I don't remember the dimensions exactly. Um, what about for gouache painting? Oh, probably 12 by 16 inches or something like that. Um, not very big. The biggest gouache paintings I've done have, are still not very big. It's just, I think the nature of gouache and the price of it. But yeah, I just, I feel like if I was gonna paint much bigger, I'd probably switch to a different medium. Um, I would like to paint a little bit bigger. I've got some fancy paper, you guys, that I haven't used much of, but where is it? Okay, I have to look through here because I've been, you know, it's like what we talked about. You get some really nice paper and then you're afraid to use it. I've got some uh, TMK poster paper, I think is the brand, and that's um, from Japan. And it is a type of paper that's used with poster color that the Ghibli artists use. And um, it's larger sheets too, and they paint on slightly larger paper. And that makes sense because they've got to put this like, incredible detail. So I would like to, you know, keep pushing my painting skills and maybe, you know, just work towards doing that kind of thing. Um, like I want to be able to paint, you know, more, <laughs> I don't know, like, like the kind of art that I love, you know, some bigger scenes and stuff. Just kind of experimenting with different things. But I love these smaller ones because they just feel good to do. And like I said, you can sit down and do one potentially in an afternoon. Sometimes I don't finish them that quickly, but um, you know, it's, I find it very encouraging. Like when I work on too many projects that take a long time to finish, you, you go for too long without having that satisfying feeling of finishing something. So I've got to mix in um, working on like some more, <laughs> longer projects and then having like breaking them up with smaller ones. I think that's like the healthiest thing for me personally. Yeah, 
if it makes sense. Wait, Helen, why does it not show you? What? How rude! How rude, Nightbot! <laughs> I don't remember you ever having like a name change or something. Did that happen? Why is it glitching? Hi. <laughs> So, well, my, my room is not necessarily super neat everywhere, but I do try to keep it pretty neat in here because it helps me um, just have like the right mood when I'm painting. If it gets too messy, I just, I don't know, it doesn't give me like a calming feeling to be in here. And then that definitely affects my ability to sit down and make some art. Everyone's different. This is no judgment zone because I definitely have had very messy um, spaces in the past, but for whatever reason right now in my life, I just have the need to have it be more like, yeah, it just needs more space and it needs to be pretty clean. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rappy. <laughs> Oh, I think it's because I was trying to be clever and added stuff after the command. Oh, I see. There, yeah. Okay, so when you when you put other text, it 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 does something. Hello, whale. <laughs> no penguins count anymore. The penguins were getting out of hand. If you guys remember, it was like. People were just possessed with the idea of having the maximum penguins in the chat. <laughs> and the gambling, the gambling, I had to, we had to turn it off. <laughs> That's so funny. The chat was just, like, you couldn't read the chat because it was just complete nonstop gambling penguins. We were just a casino, a penguin casino. <laughs> But I didn't get to cut off the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. So, you know, that was fine. But now we are having a chill time. I don't want to be enabling. I was the king of penguins for a short time. <laughs> okay, I wonder if the zoom, if the zoom camera would be interesting for this. It's such an extreme angle with the zoom camera. I don't know, my, I might have to figure out something with that. Oh, hello. That's not the camera view I was looking for. Um, let's try that. This camera is about to fall off my desk. So it's still a work in progress, this setup, but um, We're trying, we're trying stuff. <laughs> um, Beth says, do you feel like anyone in particular makes your chat a little more chaotic? This is the leading question. <laughs> we would single anyone out in particular, you know, just asking. <laughs> Hmm. Wow, it's interesting that you asked that. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just refrain from comment. Can I no comment? Ravi says, remember, it was from the times where I wouldn't go to sleep and mods would have to ban me. Oh, that's what happened. That's right. <laughs> you were not annoying. That was cute. But <laughs> that's right. Rafi would be like, you need to go to sleep, but then you wouldn't leave and you would still be in the chat and then you'd get banned because you needed to actually sleep. <laughs> it's like the cutest reason to ban someone. <laughs> but yeah, I remember that. Also, now you look like, you know, you've got like a criminal record here in the chat. <laughs> but it's actually just you needing to sleep. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna switch. I've been really trying to make this um, this brush work, but I think I'm gonna go back to my super thin brush strokes, the one that makes it easier to do the thin brush strokes because um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to make the tiny ones I want to do. So I'm trying to purposely also make the brush strokes like I want them to look organic. So I'm trying not to make them all like perfectly in the same direction. So we've got to have some that like kind of cross over. Ugh, why did I create the perfect tangent with that brush stroke? Like that's so unfortunate. That's okay. It happens. I'm gonna just go over it. <laughs> well, I like this part of the process because the earlier um, stuff that we were doing here, the more transparent painting and then the opaque painting are starting to come together. You know, like these these grasses um, are starting to paint up over the shadow areas and then they're coming down and meeting in with what we painted earlier here, which is actually transparent. So I'd like to blend them together a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Foster. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> That's quite the criminal record. <laughs> All right. Carrying on with painting. Do a soft transition there. <laughs> and we can also still go back with some darker colors and browns. Oh, there's 15 minutes left, you guys. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to stream more often. This was way too much fun. And it went really fast. It's not over yet, but I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done in the next bit here. Been painting the reference alongside stream may share. Yes, I would love you to share. You know, and I've gotta make a I've gotta make a um screen capture type scene or something. Cause right now I don't have that. So I can't really show what you're you know, I can't show it on screen or anything. But you can um, you can certainly share it in the chat and anybody can click on it and take a look. Hi, T plus cake. Oh, I, I don't love that green that I just did. It needs more yellow. Just kind of lost a little bit of that warm color I liked. Let's bring that back in. Okay, anyway, we're back. I hope we didn't lose too many people. Everyone refresh. Oh, we were looking at Boopity's beautiful artwork and we got disconnected. Boopity, I hope you're here. Yeah, you're, okay, we're back, okay. Anyway, your artwork is beautiful. I love the, the edges, how you did like an organic edge. So nice. <laughs> Maybe you're using too much bandwidth because everyone playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, let's continue anyway because we don't want to waste our last time here. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. You know, it could have been could have been the internet just cutting out. All right, adding some more highlights. And we need to add highlights onto some of these leaves too here. I wonder if I can use this brush. So what else needs to happen on this painting? 
Oh yeah, thank you, Foster. You're right, I need to do that. I need to get everyone in the loop. I want everybody who wants to be here to know, you know, that we're here and everything. Yeah, that's right. OBS sometimes just does what it does. Is it possible to see the close-up while you do the details? Yeah, sure. I can also do this way or I can do... I can do this. I'm sorry that the angle is not like ideal, you know what I mean? I just, I that's one thing with this setup that I haven't perfected yet and I've been trying to figure out a um, something. So this, I like that I can actually grab this camera and move it around, I think that's kind of cool. Um, when I was trying different little mini tripods and stuff, as small as they all were, they were still like kind of too big and got in the way and anything that just stayed in one spot tended to be too in my way when I was working. So I kind of like this thing that I can move around so yeah it's not perfect but we can we can have it like this for now i think yeah because indeed the um for details it's kind of hard to see from the top down view it's not like super zoomed in shaper oh my goodness how are you thank you i'm doing good i hope you are too very nice to see your name in the chat <laughs> Okay, option two. All right, so I will continue. So here's what I was just doing. I was taking this brush here and then kind of putting it flat and then dragging down. I hope you can see that. So that you get sort of organic little flicks. The Monstera looks gloriously healthy. Oh, thank you. She was so small back then, right? <laughs> Do you wash the leaves? I had one time, yeah. Um, but that was a long time ago. It doesn't get very dusty. That's strange, actually, now that you mention it, because this, this house gets plenty of dust. So I don't know how that works. Maybe the texture of the leaves, it doesn't like grip on very well. Oh, wow. Yeah, Schaefer. <laughs> well, it's good to see you here. Life's still going well for me starting another season of football in Hawaii. Cool. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, guys, give me one second. I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry. <laughs> um, I hope I didn't miss too much here. Yeah, unknown variable. I don't understand it myself because other rooms, I do have dust problem with the plants, but not this one for whatever reason. So I'll take it. Um, Lone Legion, that was Luna Lunavon. Why is the camera view look so bad all of a sudden? It, you know what? I know why. Never mind. It's because the sun is blasting in this room. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Um. The sun is now coming in here, so it, it, it makes the camera um, auto exposure all crazy when we have um, this view because yeah, it's trying to like adjust for that little corner of sun. So we'll just see what we can do. <laughs> Usually I'm like, yay sun, but in this situation I'm like, please stop. <laughs> The sun is encroaching. Oh no. Yeah, see now, see now it's happening. And then when it looks good, it's because there's a cloud going by for two seconds. So we'll just do what we can. I'll put it on this view. So at least one of the cameras will look good. See, this is the problem when you're using natural light. Um, when, it, when you have the right lighting circumstances, it works so well and it looks great. But then um, when you have this kind of thing, you can't control, and then you're just at the mercy of the weather. See, there we go, we have a cloud. <laughs> oh, May, I'm so glad! That's awesome. I really am glad you came in here today. Oops. I made a big chunky grass stroke. I wasn't trying to do that, but that's okay. We can work with that. 
nature is not perfect. Yeah, project, you know, I tried. So back before I took a break, um, I did buy some lights and uh, you know, the, they just weren't good enough. That's the problem. And this room is really small, so you can't get far enough away from where you, you know what I mean? To have like large light boxes. Yeah, it's such a struggle in this room. I love this room, but we bought lights and it's one of those things where we just, you know, for me at the time, it was a, an investment, but at, but still they weren't like great lights. It was just the best I could afford. And I feel like I should have just not bought them or I should have just waited and saved up for something better. Cause the kind that I got, they were just, they just didn't cut it. Like they didn't add enough light, like, you know? And so, yeah, I, uh, thank you mods. Yeah, that was a that was the problem with that. So I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might just I might have to do something because you can't you know have your stream <laughs> ruined just because there's like a, a certain weather. I'll have to figure out what to do about that. Grass can be square. It's Okay, so I had to fix that area, but you see it's all possible in gouache. Like I just wet that area, lifted it up, painted again, and then we can paint over that. Natural light looks great when it cooperates. Yeah, you know, I have, I have some lights and I think maybe what I can do is just leave the natural light and then have those other lights. And when there's a situation like this, maybe somehow both of them together will work. I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a, I will experiment with stuff off stream and see what I can make work. So, so it's nice to watch. I'll try my best, you guys. Jennykin says what I did. I bought the tertial lamp from IKEA, which you can snap to your desk, and bought a daylight light bulb. That sounds very smart. I'm gonna try to remember what you just said. Actually, let me write it down because I'm probably gonna forget that. Maybe I'll look into that. I gotta find something. It's not like a million dollars. Because. These, these, um, these lamps, the diffuse light lamps and stuff for video, they can be really expensive. And again, a lot of them are super big. So there's just not possible to put them anywhere in the room. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, Jenny. Can I look into it, you know? Um, the other thing is if I just stream um, earlier in the day, then the sun will never come in this window. Do you see the problem with the time zones? If I stream earlier in the day, it's gonna be impossible for many people to be here, which makes me sad. Stupid time zones. Um, oh, oh, that's, that's very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you for being here. And hey, um, hopefully we'll, we'll be here again soon. Have a good rest of your day. Hadi says, kitchen cabinet night lights are great for video. Also, baking paper is just a cheap diffuser. Oh my gosh, you guys are so clever. Thank you. Cabinet lights, kitchen, kitchen cabinet lights and baking paper. Kitchen cabinet lights. Oh, I've never thought of that. I wonder where I can put this stuff that makes sense in this room. I'm going to see what I can do because um, I really enjoy this and, you know, I can't believe I kind of forgot about this, but I did have this struggle um, back when I, when I used to stream traditional here, you know, a few years ago, I just kind of forgot about it, to be honest. It's only because it's this time of day that it's, I'm being reminded <laughs> of this problem. Did anybody else, was anybody else painting with us? You guys are welcome to share if you want. I, uh, I didn't, I don't feel like I can say I 100% finished this painting, but I think it's about 85 or 90% finished. It's very close to being finished. Um, 
What I think it needs is maybe a little bit, maybe I just need to add another flower here. I feel like this space here is a little too, um, like it's not activated, you know what I mean? We need some stuff that's like pointing up into here. We don't need to fill this spot with stuff, but it needs to be more activated. So a couple of flowers reaching a little bit higher in here, pointing up would look good. A little something going on down here, just some more textures and some more detail would be nice. Um. <laughs> Oh, Helen. Next time, next time. Oh, super Suki Chan says, sorry I've been lurking, but I wanted to say it's been so lovely to have you back. I'm really excited to hear you're gonna be streaming again. And your painting looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. It really means a lot. Foster says, just make sure your lights are color correct, which is more difficult to find. I will look up mine and post on Discord later. I love it. Thank you. And I appreciate that. I will um, take a look at that later then. Yeah, I need to find something. Because, look at this, it's because of the light over here, it's, it's having to adjust the exposure. So I wonder if I can turn that off, what it's going to look like. Give me a second, you guys, just going to do a little, let me just check this out if I can. Hopefully OBS isn't going to crash, that would be a sad ending of the stream. I probably shouldn't be bothering with this. Let's see, let's see. I'll turn off that exposure. Oh my gosh. What? I mean, it's so pixelated looking for some reason. Yeah, so without the, with, yeah, this is, <laughs> well, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe I can, uh, let me manually try to fix it. I'm just, I'm just, I think it's strange that it's so grainy. Like there's like all this movement. I don't know what that's called. I'm sure there's a name. But when I put the auto exposure back on, even though it's dark, it looks so much better. I can put the brightness up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for, for that. <laughs> okay. We're going to this camera. We're going to this view. Oh. Thanks for hanging out with us, May. Tech on, okay, Super Suki Chan saying the tech on YouTube for streaming isn't as good as on Twitch. Um, in my opinion, much clunkier. There's a great audience here. I hope that helps. It does help. Thank you. It does help. Yeah. Well, um, we're kind of like at the end of the time I have for streaming. I'm sorry I wasn't able to 100% finish this, um, this painting. I am happy with it. I just, um, I think maybe next time I'll be able to finish a painting. I think in three hours it's possible, but we're also talking and having a good time and yeah. <laughs> really enjoy this close-up view. The brush strokes are glorious. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the feedback. I'm going to try to like take what I learned in stream today and improve some things and, but I'm overall pretty happy with it. Thank you, Huddle Up. Thank you. I've never tried that, Sean. I always felt like I might be overwhelmed trying to like respond to all the chats and stuff, but maybe. I I'm, I'm not like, I'm, I'm open to it. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Oh, I said earlier I was gonna give like a preview of a another painting that I did, so I will do it, I will do it. Okay. So this painting I did recently with the Holbein Summer gouache set. I haven't posted this anywhere yet, so you guys getting the behind the scenes sneak preview of it. So I'll post it with some like uh, good, better resolution, you know, close ups and stuff. But yeah, this was another painting from recent, recently. Thanks so much. I had so much fun for anybody who wasn't here earlier when we were talking about it. I'm going to be around more often. I don't have a schedule yet, but um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to start um, by doing like one uh, week on Twitch and then the next week on Behance and kind of go back and forth. I'm going to be doing traditional streaming on uh, Twitch. And then if I can, you know, we'll see how that goes and I might add some more time. Like I might stream 
more than one day a week, but right now that's what I'm starting with. So I will, um, I'll put an update to my schedule on the Discord when I like, I'm sure what I'm doing. And then um, any random streams, like if there's a day that I can stream that I didn't expect that I could, then I'll just pop on, you know. You guys have a fun rest of your day and weekend and I will see you again very soon. Okay, well, bye.